Roethlisberger discuss Lamar Jackson's situation on his latest podcast. Woo! Big Ben had a pretty harsh critique of the Ravens QB. He said, quote, you don't really fear Lamar's arm, his accuracy all the time. You don't fear him sitting in the pocket and picking you apart. Woo, Shannon, what's your reaction to Big Ben's comments? Skip, you don't really just fear the bear. You, just don't, you don't really fear a bear. You just fear his teeth and claws. It's still a bear. It's a part of him. <laughs> Regardless one. what you fear of Lamar, it's Lamar Jackson, and he has the ball. Mm -hmm. And he can get the ball to the end zone, whether he throws it or he runs it. Mm -hmm. Look, Skip, normally quarterbacks have been very, very particular not to really critique or say anything negative about other quarterbacks. That is true. That's kind of been the general rule of thumb yeah, I agree. since I've been around. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm going back to when I got into the league in 1990. Yeah. I've really never heard a quarterback be openly critical of other quarterbacks, even if it's a quarterback they particularly don't like. Because they're like, you know what? That's a hard enough position to play. And we don't need – we got enough people – that's critiquing that position. Yeah, and unless you're a TV analyst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but, but, but but just a, in yeah, general. Right, right, right. Yeah. To, yeah. to volunteer criticism, right, that, out of the blue. That, yeah, that is agree. correct. And so I, I just don't get it. But if you go back and you look at Lamar, a uh, uh, passer rating is better than Ben. He throws better from the pocket than Ben. He has a higher completion percentage than Ben. He has higher yards per attempt than Ben. And Ben, look who Ben was throwing the ball to. Okay, Antonio Brown. Uh, Heinz Ward, uh, Mike Wallace, uh, Emmanuel Sanders, which one of the receivers that B Lamar Jackson has ever had can hold a candle to Antonio? What receiver he's throwing to was as good as Heinz Ward? Uh, Mike Wallace, uh, Emmanuel Sanders. Uh, Hollywood might have been in the category, Hollywood Brown. Of, uh, which one? Of, of Emmanuel. I think he's – okay, okay. okay. But, but, but Emmanuel's the one who didn't make the Pro Bowl. All the other guys you brought, they were Pro didn't Bowls. Make, didn't make the Pro Bowl in Pittsburgh. In, in Pittsburgh, but in, right. went away. I, and I'm a big fan of Emmanuel, and to your point, we talked about it. Everywhere he went, but, good things happened. Exactly. Okay. But Antonio Brown, before he self-destructed, was on a pace to put up numbers Just, that we probably had never seen before. Agreed. And so that's what he was throwing to. Yes. We know what Hines Ward. Hines Ward was just Super Bowl MVP. That's all he was. Yeah. He also had a guy named Antoine Randall L. So did. Ben has always had really, really good receivers to throw them all to. Okay. I, I, I don't I, – I just don't get what, what was his and, – and I get it, Skip. You know, maybe his, his podcast – and sometimes you have to say things like this, like, oh, okay, Ben said this. Okay, let me go here. Let me go watch his podcast. Yeah. Let me see what else he said. Make sure I'm not hearing a lot of context. Yeah. But I, 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 it just seems like to me that if you go back, I can find a critique and nitpick Mahomes, Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, Josh Allen. Skip, that's, if you want to nitpick, yeah. he's making it seem like everybody that's in line to get money is as accurate as Joe Burrow. Yeah. Tr completing 70% of their passes. That's not true. Mm. They make it seem like everybody can throw the ball from the pocket like Brady and Peyton Manning. That's not true. No. And today's game is different. You better have a quarterback that's mobile that can get outside of the pocket and not only make plays outside of the pocket with his arm, yep. can take off running. Because now that's that's not look skip. It used to be frowned upon. Oh, he run the ball. You better be able to run, because if you don't, you'll sit and duck. Those guys on the other side of the ball has gotten a lot more athletic. Yeah. And those defensive ends running four five and four six, they'll chase those stationary quarterbacks down. Yeah, I, I just, it just seems like everybody's just like 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 piling on Lamar. Yeah, uh, and look, like I said he's he's not the greatest, but he doesn't need to be the greatest quarterback to ever play. I think he's done enough. I think he's shown enough. And I think he's continuing. He's only 26. Only and he's 26. only continuing to get better. Yep. I just wish he'd have had an Antonio Brown or a Heinz Ward or some of the guys and flip it. Let Ben Roethlisberger throw to the receivers that Lamar Jackson has. Yep. And let's see how many touchdowns and how many yards and how many Super Bowl he win. Although that first Super Bowl, they were a defensive-led football team. They were. They mainly ran the football, mm -hmm. and they Ben played complimentary football. But that second Super Bowl, Ben was a, it was a proven player. He could throw the football. I'm not trying to take no shot at Ben Roethlisberger because he did what he did, threw for over 60,000 yards, has over 400 touchdown passing. Mm -hmm. But Who made the big catch in that second Super Bowl? Uh, San Antonio San Holmes. Holmes. We didn't even mention him. Oh, I forgot. And he oh, and Plexico Burroughs. Plexico Okay. So yeah. I just like to see yep. Big Ben. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna flip out the receivers that you threw to all your career. Yeah. And I'm gonna give you the guys that Lamar have. <laughs> and I'm gonna give Lamar his guys, and we're gonna see how you look and how he looks.
Shannon Sharp, I appreciate everything you just said. But allow me to say, when I read these remarks from Ben on his podcast, they really steamed me because they cut me deep. Mm -hmm. And yet then I sat back and I said, you know what? Maybe this is a good thing. Maybe this exposed or revealed the stereotypical way that Lamar is being dismissed and discounted mm -hmm. inaccurately by the whole league right now, mm -hmm. because we've talked about unspoken collusion against Lamar because of the 230 million that Deshaun got in Cleveland as an outlier aberration of a one shot deal contract that the owners are trying to say no to. Right. But yet it feels like Nobody is really interested in Lamar because they just don't really believe in Lamar as that guy. Right. Because if that guy is available, he's 26. He's going to play the whole next regular season almost to maybe to the last game before he turns 27. 27. Shannon, you, you, you got a 26-year-old MVP. He's an MVP in 2019. He won the MVP. Mm -hmm. and, and when he did so, when I look at these numbers from, from 2019, I say, wait a second. They went 13-2. and two. He, he threw 36 touchdowns, which led the league that year, to only six interceptions. Yeah. Uh, he it, led the whole league in QBR with 83. Really? Was, huh. Huh. Interesting. He, he completed, um, what, what, 69% of his passes that year. Right. So that was, it was off the charts. And he scored seven rush touchdowns while rushing for 1,206 yards, which led all quarterbacks, obviously. And he, yet, uh, he led – in yards rushing per attempt at 6.9. Well, I, it's it's an historic season that if if anybody named Brady or Peyton, right. I know Peyton had the one huge 55 but touchdown. 55 between, yeah, yeah. Okay, but but still, when you throw on the rush yards and right. the rushing touchdowns, if Mahomes had had that season, oh, pe people would go crazy. Yeah. They'd say oh, that was historic. Well, nobody had that season. Yeah, yeah. but but nobody thought it was historic. Nobody, Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Skip? Do, does Ben realize how he threw his touchdowns? <laughs> Improvisational? Yeah. Backyard football? Ben, ben make it seem like he was throwing the ball from the pocket like Peyton and, and, uh, and Tom. No. Ben, do you realize that you were playing backyard football? You was like more Fran targeted than Peyton Manning? Yep. I mean, he wasn't built like Fran, no, but he no, played no, like no, him no, but I'm because saying, he could just shrug off yes, rushes. Yes, right? or he's running around and yep. he's pointing over here. No, go over there. Don't do this right here and throw yep. the ball. Ben make it seem like he was just a pure drop back Pocket passer, yep. a la Dan Fouts, a la Peyton Manning, a la Tom Brady. That's not what he was, Skip. No. no. So I'm going to reread what Jen read. Ben says, you don't really fear Lamar's accuracy. Really? Huh. Well, so, you're crazy. He did say all the time. All the time. Okay. Right. But to your point, in their first, in, in Ben's first five years, he was 62% completion. In right. Lamar's first five years, he's 64%. I don't know. That's pretty accurate to me. Right. You had those stats. Just throwing from the pocket, his passer rating is higher than Ben's for a career, and his QBR just from the pocket is higher than Ben. Yeah. Because to your point, Ben wasn't really regarded as a pocket right. passer. You helped to keep Ben in the pocket. You, 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 you just wanted to make sure that once you got to him, you got him on the ground because he's going to try to shrug you off. Okay. He's going to try to fight to the last minute and, yep. he, and the push come to shove. He's going to get outside the pocket, Skip, and he can make plays. Uh -huh. He was a big – he was 6'5", okay. 255, 260, but he can make plays. Okay, and he did benefit from the bus named Jerome Bettis. Yes. And he did benefit from Le'Veon Bell at his greatest yes. when, when he was in Pittsburgh. And they did have James Conner who made Pro Bowls. Right. And the point is Lamar has had a running game powered by – him yeah. and the scheme. The scheme is great in right. Baltimore, and they can, as you know, they can plug in any numbers, almost like Kyle's system right. in San Francisco. Right. You can just plug in right. different backs, and all of a sudden you say, oh, he can he can right. run too. And damn near every year, Skip, he had a Pro Bowl receiver. Okay. If it wasn't Antonio. Yeah, I, was I, I checked this out. So his first year, rookie year, he did have Heinz Ward. Yes. He's pretty great. Yes. Right? Okay, then he went four years. He didn't have one. But then all of a sudden, here comes Heath Miller. Remember, Heath yeah. Miller was a Pro Bowl he, tight, tight end. end. I know correct. Lamar's had Mark Andrews, Andrews. and he's yes. really good. Yes. Because he's had him as a pro bowler. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Heath makes it. And then all of a sudden, by 2011, it starts breaking through. A.B. and Mike Wallace right. made it. 
then Heath Miller again in 2012, and then here goes A.B., and he makes one, two, three, four, five, six straight more years. So that's seven total right. years of Pro Bowl. Mm -hmm. And along the way, in 2018, Juju also made the Pro Bowl with A.B. Re in 2018 right. for Big Ben. Right. Wow, that's, that's pretty great. And then, remember, in 2021, Ben's last year, Deontay Johnson made the Pro Bowl right. for the Pittsburgh Steelers. They have been uncanny right. in, pick, in, in drafting right. star wide right. receivers. And, and you mentioned Emmanuel and then Mike Wallace, yeah, Mike Wallace. Mike Wallace, he might have been make the Pro Bowl, but he got the big contract. Well, he made the, once. Yeah, he, he put up that big year. Yeah, yes. he put up oh, a big year. Huge. You want to talk about a deep threat? Yes. So, okay. so and, the, and a lot of them go elsewhere yes. and, and do very well, like Plaxico. Yeah. Okay. So the, the point is, I look at Lamar and I look at in his – in the MVP year, yeah, he threw to Mark Andrews and he threw to Hollywood. But the the third, the third most catches on that team, it was a tie between Nick Boyle and Willie Sneed. So, so it's like, okay, that's what he's throwing to. Willie, Willie Sneed, the four. Yes, yes. The four. Okay. My point is, you, you, it's wrong-headed to say you question his accuracy, unless that's just the stereotypical view. That's the dismissive view of Lamar that actually speaks to how the whole league views him, he's not that accurate. It's, it's because he, he doesn't have the purest, prettiest throwing right. motion. It looks sometimes slightly awkward. Shannon, all I know, I don't care about outlooks. I care about where does the ball go? Yeah, the, yeah. Does it get where it's supposed to get? And Ben right. did say he has a huge arm because Lamar's got, he's got a big, right. nice arm. When he needs to uncork, he can flat yeah. out uncork he's, it. But, about, you say, but you don't fear him just sitting in the pocket picking you apart. No. What, what, who, who just sits in the pocket? That's the whole thing. You try to make the guy uncomfortable. Okay. But, but he's a dart thrower from the pocket when, when, you, when you dare him to or whatever, you know, if, if you're going to drop in the right. safeties and he's got people right. open, he'll pick you to pieces right. from the pocket. Right. So to, back to your analogy, teeth or claws, he's got both. <laughs> no, seriously. He's really got, I don't know, you call claws, I guess, the run. Yeah. But, but he's got teeth too. Yes. It's not like he's toothless, right? Right. I mean, Skip, I mean, what is he, 49 and 21? Mm -hmm. So he's doing something. I've never seen a guy that couldn't throw win so many games. Oh. And, and look, Ben was great, too. I, we're, yeah, 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 we're, yeah. Not, we're not dismissing no, him no, at all. No, absolutely not. But it's, it's this sort of off-the-cuff, frivolous, just gratuitous. Right. It, it, it's showing you the mentality, to me, of a lot of white executives in this league. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't know, maybe some black executives right. think the same thing. Somehow... Lamar is viewed as second rate as a quarterback. Correct. He just is. Mm -hmm. Again, I love him. You're, you're a big supporter mm -hmm. of him. I've been from the start. I, I'll be the first to admit, I didn't see him coming at Louisville. Ozzie saw him coming right. because they were the only one. I don't think anybody saw him coming. No. And I don't think even Ozzie thought, I just drafted an MVP. No, I don't, I, don't think he thought, right? I don't think he thought that either. And you're, and you're right, Skip. I mean, that's just the perception of it is that, like, everybody does it the exact same way. Everybody can't be – it's like, you know, people are criticizing Mahomes where he's off script. Okay. But you make it seem like he can't play on script. <laughs> he's really, really good off script. But you make it seem like he's a bomb on script. He's not a bomb. No, I'm not – The stats on. scream at you <laughs> yes. that he's really good. In fact, I can make a strong case – He's a better pure pocket passer than Ben was. Yeah. I'm talking about pure stand in the pocket and throw it than Ben was. Right. If I, especially, Skip, if you give me those receivers. Mm -hmm. give, me, give, him an, give him an equivalent of Antonio Brown. Yeah. Or Juju. Okay. Or some of the guys that he was throwing to. Give Lamar that. Okay. that. And what's sad but true, and the ironic conclusion of this discussion is, uh, yeah, if he had Odell in his New York Giant prime, yeah, then, then we're good to go, yeah, right? We're, but, but we, about we're not yeah, talking about that exactly. guy anymore, no, right? We're no, talking about a 30-year-old no. who's had like seven surgeries right. and two complete ACL reconstructions, and now he's got Odell. And are you sure he's got right. Odell? And even if you had given him Steve Smith, even though after he came from the Carolina Panthers, yep. he still had juice in the tank, or Derek Mason that came from Tennessee. He, he hadn't had the no, no equivalent of that. No. Nope. Mm-mm. <laughs> Like I said, I just wish Lamar had four of those receivers that uh, Ben had, and then yeah. we're going to flip them out. We're going to give him <laughs> Willis Need, yeah. and we'll give him some of the receivers that Lamar is throwing to, and we're going to see what his numbers look like when it's all said and done. Fair enough.